Top five paints and why you need to buy them if you don't already own them. Go buy them now. <laughs> We're back. It's a midweek video and this week we are talking about paints and why we love them. Specifically our top five paints. Made it a jingle. I was going to say, why well, you've just broken into song? I don't know, that was kind of fun. I I, am I a musical guy? Sort of. Don't We're there. So. Doesn't matter. Anyway, anyway. Top, five, top five paints that we couldn't live without. Um, and what was really funny is we went through yours and you were, and you were like, well, this is this whole recipe. This is this whole recipe. This is this whole recipe. Yeah, so I, all, I'm i a creature of habit through and through and I gravitate towards the same colours for the same schemes, even when I don't necessarily mean to. I'm I'm recently doing like a new Seraphon army, which is very, very fun. And it's the first time in ages I've gravitated away from them and I feel like I'm in uncharted territory. So it'd be nice to sort of regress and enjoy uh, the paints that I do actually really love to paint with. I'll give you a week until you bring one in. Oh yeah, for sure, let's go back in. <laughs> Throwing it in there somewhere. Um, so these, these we've lumped contrast paints into here. They're, they're allowed, but I haven't gone shade. Because it's in the name, paint. Contrast paint. Crazy. Um, yeah. yeah, go with, oh, should we do? We'll do our, if we're doing top five, we'll do like five, four and five, and then top threes that you couldn't live without. Yeah, so I'll go first. My number five is uh, Vallejo Game Color Warlord Purple. Okay, um, very nice. So I did all of my, this, when I, I found this color on the internet, and I was like, this is the color I want for an army. So I did all of my Drakari in these. Nice. That was the main tone I wanted. Um, I love it. I love, it's not purple. It's not pink. Mm. It's not lilac. It's just... Strong, saturated. It's just, it's almost neon, but not to the point where you can't use it as a paint. That's cool. It goes on really well for a really high color pigment as well. Mm. Um... Yeah, I did it through an airbrush. It goes through an airbrush, obviously thinned down. I've got the air version as well. Um, I, yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. And what's really funny that is it's in my top five, but I haven't used it on anything else since because it doesn't fit. What's, um, um, what's your number five? Number five is something I use for everything, but it's not in large quantities. So I go with Pro Acryl Bold Titanium White. Um, this I use for all my OSL stuff, so it's always like the base for anything like quite strong in saturation. So I use it for like red OSL, blue OSL, um, anything that needs like a really like fine um, like dot highlight just to really like go boom. Um, it is super white. Best white on the market, not just because it's super white, um, but just because it's not chalky. It's so hard for some reason to get uh, a good consistency in white. Corex white is rubbish. White scar is rubbish. Oh, white scar, um, white, white chalk. White, yeah, it's just rubbish. You pull it out of the pot. Literally pull it out of the pot. It's yeah. So this, it just they don't miss. Um, I think they're called Monument. Um, yeah, Monument. Yeah, great. They're absolutely great. I've used a few of their paints now, and they are very, very good. It's got an M on it, so I'm gonna say Monument. Monument. Um, you're number four, sir. Uh, Mephiston red. Mephiston. Why Mephiston? I think this is the best red I've ever used. One, it's to the point where it's one coat does it. Sure. Um, it's just really, really good coverage, really strong red. You can go, it shades down really well, like old school null oil over a fist and mm. red. Like there wasn't, a, there was, it was peak. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because it just, it behaved really well with the black, with that black shade. And then you can hi you can highlight up like red's notorious that you either have to go like peachy kind of color yeah. or orangey, whereas Mephiston's low enough down that you don't have that problem. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Um, yeah, and it's just like I said, it's just one coat. Easy it's done. Um, work. I use it on pretty much anything I need to be red. Although I don't use it on my Dark Angels because I find if you Mephiston red with um, that deep green for Dark Angels looks a bit like a Christmas tree. Oh yeah, that's true. I've, <laughs> I've never thought of that before. It's very Christmas. Very they're Christmas, Christ they're whereas, Christmas tree colours. Whereas I use... Yeah. <laughs> I can't I'd see that. <laughs> whereas that's, what, that's why I use cor yeah. corn red on the Dark Angels because it's just yeah. low. It's, it's dark enough that it's like, oh no, you don't look like a Christmas tree. I'll tell you what, Dark Angels Army with snow bases. It's just, red, red hats yeah, on. Yeah, red hats. Perfect. So good. I'm really floored by that. Um, You're so, number four. Number four. Uh, 
Frost Heart. That's quite low down for you. It's it's because it's not in the Holy Trinity. That's why. <laughs> it's because it's not in the Holy Trinity. It's at number four by default. Um, I actually, for anybody that knows uh, Darcy uh, Bono Creations on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, she did a, uh, I think it was a Votan Visor tutorial with Frost Heart when Votan first came out in ninth edition. And I remember watching it and I was like, that is, that is excellent. What is that paint? I've never, I've never bought Frost Heart before. I yeah. went and did it and now it's everywhere. It's strong. I think I, I love, the, they're like, this is a crazy word to use. And I don't think I've ever said this word. Opacity, which is very nice. It's a very opaque blue, which is great. It's a big word for you. It is. It's very technical. Technical. <laughs> I failed on technical. Technical. God damn it. I wish I was technical. Um, what about tentacruel? Oh, uh, sad. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, really, really phenomenal. I use it for things like OSL. Um, on a previous video that I've done with the Mega Gargan, I've really thinned it down and it looks great on like undead flesh as well. Like, or like giving like a cool cold tone. Um, it's as if it's in the name. It's I frosty. That's <laughs> it, frosty, my guys. Um, but yeah, no, I, I love it. I think it's phenomenal. It's yeah. now my go to for all OSL. You redid all of the Chaos Wolves OSL with it. I did, well, I'm moving through it. It's not quite all of them yet, but. Um, yeah, it's phenomenal. Like, especially when you use it with the bold titanium white, if you glaze both colours together until you get like that perfect, like, uh, synchron synchro synchronicity? Is that a word or is it synchronization? It's one of the two. I'm really flying with words tonight. I should probably, start, yeah, click the wings and go back down. But, um, what's your number three? I think it's got to be ice yellow. Ice yellow is a strong shout. Why? Um, because you can mix it into anything. And it perfect highlight colour. Okay. So you know you've had the, like that classic problem where you put white in things, they just go to white. This right. the yellow the yellow pigment in this. You can to be fair, I'm I use ice yellow by Vallejo, but I've also used the AK one and it's just as good. This one's more of a any tone of ice yellow. Um, oh, but in right. particular ice yellow by model colour. Um very nice. I used to use Dawn Yellow, which was very similar, but it was a bit chalky. Um, but yeah, you put ice yellow into anything, put it into blue, you get a lovely highlight colour. Um, put it into red as well. Oh, right. You get a really nice, like as, like we said about um, corn, uh, Mephiston red, sorry, that is quite hard. But you, if you use ice yellow, if you need to add it in, um, and you can use it, you don't, you don't need to be in that like section of the wheel to use it. So I've used it on colours that don't fit. Right. Where white will just take will desaturate things too much. So I've used it as a spot highlight on blue. Oh, right, okay. Um, it just... It just works. I don't know what it is. It's, it's like a magic... It's That's just so the, it's the small amount of yellow pigment that just boosts the saturation for things. Ice yellow, if you don't already own it, go and get it, and brilliant spot highlight for yellow as well. Mm. It's just all around good. You've never used it, have you? I haven't, no. You've mentioned two paints so far that I've never used, and I'm... Well, I know what you're getting for Christmas. Inspired. <laughs> um... My top three, I'll, I'll be honest, my, my top three seem like very basic colours. Like, they seem really boring. You've painted the town beige. I really have. Like, they're not very fun. However, they are so versatile, it is a joke. So I use my top three for the Chaos Wolves, for my Soul Black Grave Lords, uh, for Black Templars. Um, the list goes on and on and on. I've used them across the board for nearly... Three years. Um, well, one of them. You one of them, it, which I'll mention. I had to convert you to. Which I'll mention right now. Um, it is Vallejo model color black. Nine five zero. Nine five zero. Um, Do you I, know how long this year? Th th this <laughs> Do you know how long this chump was using a bad and black? Yeah. So Lee, you came over and I was like. I was like, oh, how do you do your black on your colours? Like, oh, you're bad in black. I was like, no, you don't. Yeah. And I was like, I, I, I tried to get you to leave my house with a part, and you were like, no, I like my bad in black. Don't want it, mate. Don't want it. And then you tried it once, and then you were like, oh, God. This is amazing. <laughs> like, this is gold. Yeah, no, well, it's not gold, it's black. Um, yeah, no, it was um, for phenomenal paint. Um, I think the thing I love most about it is its matte finish. That's, that yeah. is, is just wonderful. Like, I hate glossy black and I had to really I always used to really struggle with a bad and black like with thinning it and having to do like a couple of coats or whatever just to get like the nice consistency but with I don't know just like a bit muted I suppose but the problem with... I always had with the bad and black was you're like is that wet or is that dry 
Oh yeah. Because it's got a very similar sheen if it's dry or if it's if it's wet. Yeah, because I it's got like a satin. That. So you should be like, on your brush, is that is this like workable paint? Yeah. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, I used to that. hate I used to hate hated bad and black as soon yeah, as I moved it's similar to use it. It's also very, very good if you really water it down um, as a wash. It's a really good wash. Mm. It's not a good glaze. Who's glazing with black? I don't know, but I've tried. <laughs> yeah, it's smooth brain. I, I don't, I don't, who's I'm doing that? It's your number two. <laughs> um, my second favourite paint is Imperial Fist Contrast Paint. It's yellow again. Is it good? It's just, I can't describe it. Anybody, anybody that's used Imperial Fist, they're just going to be like, yeah, I know. I hate painting yellow. I did, and now I want to paint everything yellow. So how do you use it? Do you go white, then Imperial Fist? No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. We go, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we, we go with pink. All right. So the way I do the Fist of the First Templar is spray them pink, then the Zenith will white, then Imperial Fist, either by the brush or through an airbrush, just mm. over the top. Gives a fantastic, like a, like a nice depth between orange and yellow. And to be honest, even without the pink, so on the Votan that I did, that's just white. Uh, white Scar, I think it is, by uh, the spray from Jadubs. Just that with a brush. One coat, good yellow, with an actual shade. Like, they say all these things with country, like, oh, it's got the shade and the highlight in. You're like, come on. It doesn't. That's a lie. <laughs> Some of them kind of have one or the other. Yeah, I, I do Imperial think... Fist has the shade. It has the shade in that paint. Like yeah. it, it gives you the orange depth. Yeah, it has the juice. Um, but yeah, right. not important. Not in my top what's five. Your, what's your number two? Number two. Uh, it's got the Vallejo model color ivory. Now listen. When you base coat anything with Xandri dust, as I do all the time, yeah, it's a pretty controversial color to base a model with. You then dry brush it with um, ivory in skin, because then you'll put like a contrast paint on or whatever. Um, it's a great foundation paint, as well as a great highlight paint. So, so similar wrong to, with it. So similar to what you said about uh, Dawn Yellow, like I do the same, but with ivory. So I'll put like a little bit of ivory Ice and everything. Yellow. Dawn Yellow is oh, the bad one. Pardon me, don't do that. Um, yeah, I I love it. I think it's I think it's great for absolutely everything. So, for example, if I'm painting cloth or bone or uh, anything that should be that sort of off white colour, start with Zandri dust and then build up the layers of ivory, and it's it's fabulous. Yeah, I think it's great. Love it. Absolutely love it. What is your number one? So we've already talked about it. Okay. Nine five zero black. Nine five zero. Best paint of all time. And as anyone that's watched our challenges knows I quite like painting well I don't like painting black but I paint a lot of black yeah whether it's soft bits on space marines whether it's dark leather and stuff which I use it as a base coat for or even I actually use it for my metallics like I'll like in our mm. backlog challenge as I showed we did I do a, a coat of that then a, then a thin um, metallic paint over the top mm. yeah I don't there isn't much more yeah. Praise that I can give nine five zero black. If you're still using a band black, stop being an idiot. Go yeah. and buy nine five zero black. Take it from somebody that made the change this year. You're living in the past. You're living in a dream world. You're never gonna get the. It's like you that. Want. It's like that. Thing. You know how doctors say, if you have a glass of water in the morning, it'll change your life. I've I've never been told that. Oh, I have. Oh. Glass of, as soon as you wake up, a glass of water change your life. Do that, and also buy a pot of nine five zero black, and you'll be like. Drink the 950 black as a chaser. <laughs> that, that really works. It's um, black. <laughs> Actually, no, it'll, it'll be Kira, what have you done? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it'll be pretty funny. It'll be pretty thin because you have the water. Ah, uh, nice. Thin that down. Very nice. Um, what is yeah. you, what's your all-time favourite paint? And we're going to disagree here, I know. Yeah, we are. I, I really struggled with the grading of the top three and I'll be honest I've mentioned it as like a top three I don't really mean it it's the Holy Trinity they're all as good as each other um, but coincidentally my top is Corn Red yeah which we spoke about in the Christmas Tree Marines we did um, it's the best it's the best red no it's not it is red is very punchy uh, on it's, its not. Own. it's the most muted red ever I it? like muted colours as I've already said um, I say emo um, I really like Corn red because it's not like in your face. It really fits with the sort of like grungy theme um, that I seem to paint everything in. Um, 
Yeah, and it's also great to build up from, again, like a great foundation paint that you really start to get a feel for the model yeah. when you start colouring. Um, and I, Yeah, I love that. I think it's great. And also, another great foundation paint that you can thin down and use as a wash. You can try it with Mephisto Med. I think that might give you a bit more punch. I don't want punch. I want muted, as I've already said. <laughs> don't need punchy. Living in the Black Parade. <laughs> when I was... Yeah, no, I really do. Um, but yeah, no, for going no further, like my top three, um, model colour black, model colour ivory, corn red. They're the, the holy trinity of everything I paint. I couldn't live without them. Yeah, that's, that's all of your painting in... All of them. All of the bits. I love it. This was quite, it's quite hard actually, just so we can sum this up. It's quite hard to pick top five. Like, yeah. I paint a lot of different colors. You found that, actually, I'm speaking for you, I think you found this easier than I did. You're like, <laughs> this, 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 and this. I was like, <laughs> this is a, yeah, truthfully, this was one of the easier challenges we've ever done. I was like, well, that's easy. It's just the paints I paint with every day. <laughs> Whereas I was like, well, I like this color, but I wouldn't put it in my top five. Oh, like Tau as well. Four armies. <laughs> <laughs> the Tau are exactly the same. Yeah, it's the Which same no colors. Ivory. Is there any ivory in town? Yeah, skulls. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and the, you know, the, all the skulls. skulls I'm, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's that? Bloody hell. <laughs> I wasn't joking. It's everything. Love it. Absolutely love it. A couple it. of uh, honourable mentions that didn't quite yes. make it. So, if you're going with the metallics, the Duncan Rhodes Two Thin Coats metallics are phenomenal. They are very good. We've used them quite a few times. Yeah. Um, however, it depends what you want to go with. I'm... They are phenomenal, but when I my problem is I've always got black out anyway. So I'll, when I'm doing like my black details, I'll then block in all my my silver details and then use Gunmetal Air by Model Color. Oh, that's true. Um, which is brilliant. But if yeah. I needed to go with a straight metallic, uh, the Duncan Rose Two Thin Coats, they are the Duncan brilliant. Mm. But yeah, leave us a uh, a comment what your top five paints are, what your favorite paints are, because I guarantee people won't agree with my boring choices. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And um, leave us a comment down below, give us a like, give us a sub, and we will see you next time.